Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some Bug Fables The Everlasting Sapling. I have played this game on the channel before, you may remember I did a first thoughts video on this. If I remember to link the card, then a card will come up now, I might have forgotten. Uh, after doing that, I completed the game on the Switch, I played the game again uh, in hard mode on the Steam version, and I absolutely loved it both times, so we're going to play it again, and I'm going to do a full playthrough this time on video. Uh, obviously not all in one video, this is just part one. Um, but yeah, the reason I'm starting now is because this game recently got an update. Uh, it was, I think, two days? No, today's Friday. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Um, so, uh, this is version 1.1, as you can see. This is a pretty significant update. Uh, you'll notice the logo, uh, on the home screen has changed. It used to look more like this. Uh, now it looks like this. Um, and there's just a whole bunch of stuff that's different now. A whole bunch of quality of life stuff, a bunch of bugs fixed, a couple more bosses have been added, side quests and stuff. Uh, it's just a, a significant improvement to the game, so I think it's a good time to start. <laughs> so yeah, um, we're gonna jump in, we're gonna play the whole game eventually, but we're gonna just start it now and go from the beginning and see how we do. Uh, it still looks pretty much the same. Uh, on the PC version, there's some more options in the settings now. You can cu do custom controls and stuff with a lot more uh, flexibility, which is nice. Uh, the Switch version hasn't really changed that much, but mm, it's alright. I'm still using the Switch version because I find it easier to record than the uh, PC version. Uh, you can see, yeah, these are the same options we had before. Uh, I'm just going to leave them on the defaults for the time being. Uh, that should be fine. Uh, as you can see, I have a completed file there. Uh, I'd named my file Bug because I didn't know what any of the characters were named yet. Uh, when we start a new file here, I'm going to call it V. There we go. And then we're going to start the game like that. Are you ready? <laughs> I can't hear your response because this is pre-recorded. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, V's great. Let's do this. Ah, the land of Bulgaria, a peaceful, prosperous place where many adventurous bugs gather. Although, it wasn't always that way. Lured by the promise of riches and lush fields, a young queen visited these lands many moons ago. Together with her daughters and fellow ant servants, she established Bulgaria's modest first settlement. Her people were happy, the Ant Kingdom flourished, and yet, the Queen's dream had still not been fulfilled. For she had heard of an ancient people, who safeguarded a treasure of unbelievable power. It was none other than... The Everlasting Sapling, a plant which would grant unending youth and strength to any who ate even one of its leaves. She searched, and searched, and searched. Alas, she never found it. She entrusted her dream to the princess before falling into a hard-earned sleep. Determined to succeed where her mother did not, the new queen rallied the people together under her cause. Opening the doors of the kingdom to bugs of all shapes and kinds, she attracted ambitious and skilled adventurers. The decree was loud and clear, find me the everlasting sapling and you shall know wealth like no other bug ever has. With this, the Explorers Association was founded, with its many members searching across the kingdom for clues and treasure. Even though to this day the sapling has not been found, but every bug dreams of one day claiming it for themselves. I really love the music in this game, by the way. Or at least, those were the stories I was told in my land. Despite many unfortunate incidents, tales of your people helped me keep my adventuring spirit alive. Rest assured, Kabu, they are not mere legends, but real history. This Explorers Association and all the explorers who risk their wings for glory are proof of that. Then, Sir Marky, would you consider my earlier offer? Kabu, I respect your passion, but I take missions of the highest danger. An unproven warrior is not fit to accompany my team. Unproven? 
Marky, I've bested many hardships in the North. Or so you say. Your knowledge of our culture and your passion for exploring is as true as my blade's edge, Kabu. But I would ask you to not press the issue. This is not the place to cause a scene. What? Care to say that again? As I said, we cannot allow children to explore, much less Snake Mouth Den. I'm not a kid. So much for that. Would you accompany me, Kabu? It is my duty to investigate. Hmm. Hmm. Well, if you insist. Use the stick to move around. Press A to jump or talk to people. Okay, we're now playing as Kabu. Uh, there's not much we can do just yet. Oh, we can already do that apparently. That's interesting. You could not. You couldn't uh use the horn cut move at the start of the game originally. I guess that's a change in 1.1. Uh, we can pause already. Have a look at our inventory. It's empty. Look at our medals. That's empty. Look at our library. That's gonna be empty too. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure you couldn't do this at the beginning of the game before. So that's new. Ethel, B, lower your voices. What is the matter? This guy is calling me a kid, so I can't explore. Shouting isn't going to change the rules, you child. Shut it. It's not about age, it's about skill. I'm V, the best explorer the hive has ever seen. I'm not some random bee. An explorer bee? Yeah, got a problem? Saying bees can't explore? Expected honey and paint? I didn't say that, but... Silence, please. This guild of ours is no place for petty squabbles. Look, I can't just give you a permit. To, I can't just give a permit to some bee, much less without a partner. Team ship should be a duo of explorers, you know. I'm worth like four bees, okay? I love V so much. Hey, V. What do you want? Why don't we join forces? We both wish for a permit, yet lucky companion. What? Do I look that desperate? I don't even know you. I have a promise I must keep, and for that I must explore. How bad could it be? Well, it can't be worse than having to stay put. Deal. Wait, you two are just crazy. You won't last a second at Snake Mouth. I'll prove you wrong. No. You are both, most likely, mere novices, ruled by your strong emotions. I have no doubt that if you left today, you'd return inside a bag. Sir Marky, although you outrank me in spades, you shouldn't underestimate, underestimate me. I... Went through quite a bit to get here. Yeah, bugs like you that look down on others are really annoying. Hmm, very well. I shall test your resolve. Test us, huh? Who named you king of this joint? The Ant Queen herself. She has knighted me as her royal blade. I accept your challenge. V, get ready. Watch your own horn. I was born ready. B, our opponent is no amateur. Would you like to review some combat tips? Okay, I know the combat tips already, but for the sake of completeness, I'm going to go through them anyway. Hit me up. Maybe I'll even learn something. Listen then. We can both perform one action per round, be it attacking, using an item, etc. We can power up our attacks by performing commands unique to each move. Watch this. If I hold down long enough, I can power up my horn strike. Oh, that's interesting, actually. Um, in the previous version of the game, 1.0.5 or whatever, uh, it showed the down arrow, like on a Joy-Con, instead of the down stick motion. So I guess it detects that I'm using a Pro Controller, and does that, like, shows the right icon now. So that's actually a new feature. Holding a button? Lame. Look at this. If I press A at the right time, I can power up my Beamerang. A Beamerang. She has a Beamerang. See? We're doing great! Don't let your guard down, V. After our turn ends, the enemy's next. I know. I know. And if I press A at the right time... Pressing A a bit before an enemy hits you reduces damage received. With perfect timing, you'll reduce even more damage. Ow! What the heck? You trying to kill us or something? Hmm. If you can't handle that much, you should surrender. Go home and guard honey with your silly toy. Toy? Ugh, now I'm mad. We should pay him back tenfold. It's time you use a skill. It is like attacks, but you select them from the yellow flower. Skills require us to use our TP. Teamwork points, though. 
so watch out for how many we have left. We should patch your wounds too using items from the blue flower. Toggle between commands using left and right. So yeah, we can pick what we want to do. Various options. I don't think we can spy yet. Yeah, so we can't find out how much health Marky has. Uh, but we can do all the other things we want to do. Let's do a tornado toss. Eh. I have trouble with the tornado toss command. <laughs> Uh, Kabu doesn't have any good skills to use yet, but, uh, you can give a leaf to V. Here you go, V. That was a waste. <laughs> I don't think you can lose this fight. Because it's a tutorial. I'm bad at this timing, though. S such skill with the blade. You pass. What? You performed well enough. I could feel your desire to see the world through your attacks. I am no one to keep you from your explorer permit. Eatle, you may grant it to them. I get no say in this, huh? <sighs> but Marky is the Queen's Blade. Here, you can have it. You got the explorer permit. I did it! Snake Mouth then is gonna be all mine! All the riches, all the glory! Uh, we did it. Snake Mouth Den, it lies to the west of the Association, a simple path, although filled with danger. There is much treasure to be found, but its jaws have claimed many. Treasure, huh? Marky. Seriously, brother, how long are you going to keep me waiting? My apologies, Kena. V, Kabu, I must be going now. As you can see, duty calls me. May you, su may you succeed in your mission. What a weird bunch. He ended up causing quite the scene himself. That fighting prowess. How many years must he have trained? So, uh, I'm V, I guess, from the hive near the big tree. Oh, I am Kabu. I moved in just one moon ago from the north. Cool. Indeed. Uh, so Marky said Snake Mouth was to the west, right? Should we get moving? Right, yeah, let's go right away. Don't fall behind, okay? Hey, wait, you two. Something wrong? You know what the goal of the Snake Mouth ex Expedition is, right? I guess I should say no so that it tells me, but I do know what it is. What? You'd go there without knowing anything? It's like asking to perish. Shush, Edel, just say it. Your goal is to find an ancient artifact that is fabled to be inside Snake Mouth Den. Many tried, but no one ever found it. Most never came back. I don't know what the Queen wants with that, but she is very determined to find it. We will find it. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm on the case after all. <sighs> this is what worries me. Chapter 1. A Dysfunctional Trio. Change the party leader by pressing X. You can check your inventory, stats and other things by pressing plus. Okay, we also have access to the beamerang already. So yeah, um, at the beginning of the game, before this patch, pressing the B button as either character did nothing until you learned how to use these skills. You learn them pretty soon, like, as soon as you enter Snake Mouth Den, basically, you learn this stuff, but... Yeah, it's, it's different, which is interesting. Um, let's talk to some people. Firstly, we'll talk to Artis up here. Hello! Phew, finally done. Sometimes work just doesn't stop coming. Uh, okay. Who are you again? Excuse ya, I'm Artis, and I keep this place running. Oh, well, thank you for your hard work. Uh, yeah, thanks. So you two-faced Marky, eh? Bet you found it a tad too easy? You know it. <laughs> I see you lot like challenge. One sec, I have this one thing. Please take it. You got the hard mode medal. Boosts enemy strength, but gives you more experience and rewards. You got a medal. These artifacts help you by giving different effects. To equip medals, go into the pause menu by pressing plus and select medals and stats. Once there, you can equip medals to different party members using left and right to switch you who you're equipping to. Medals cost MP to equip. Be sure to check how much you have left. What is this? A medal? Let's say it should make things more interesting for you. The higher the risk, the higher the reward, as they say. If you defeat any powerful enemies while wearing it, come see me, alright? I won't say no to free stuff, you've got a deal! Thank you for entrusting us with it. Take care, artists. 
Safe exploring, folks. Remember to check in every now and then. So the way this works, every boss battle in the game uh, has an associated special medal. Uh, if you beat the boss with hard mode on, then Artis will give you the medal that goes with that boss. If you beat the boss without hard mode on, you have to buy the medal instead. And they end up pretty expensive. So it is better to do them on hard mode if you can. Uh, I might I might go on hard mode. I don't want it to just slow up the recording too much. Um, with, you know, having to re-attempt bosses over and over. So I might, I might try putting hard mode on, and then if I get stuck on a boss for too long, I'll switch it back off. Um, you don't permanently miss anything. Uh, the, like, the medals are still available, you just gotta buy them, so... It should be okay. Uh... The path ahead leads to Snake Mouth Den. Currently only licensed exploration teams can pass. Do you have a permit? Hmm, alright, this checks out. Open up the gate. Safe travels, explorers. Thank you. Okay, we can't press minus yet. I was curious about that. Uh, the minus button is the tattle button. Like, it tells you about the area you're in. But that ability hasn't been unlocked yet. That also unlocks when you enter the den, so I thought they might have moved that earlier in the game as well. Hello. Hey, why are you hitting that crystal? You could break it, you know? Huh? You really don't know? Just tell us why. Forgive my partner Celia, her mouth is most loose. This is an ancient crystal, correct? They're unique to this land. Correct, they can store the record of previous travellers if you smack them with something. This crystal is yellow, so it will even heal your wounds. You seem to believe that? All that awesome stuff for hitting a rock? Huh, <laughs> you're one of little faith. Come on Levi, show them. Would you like to save? Yes, saving. So yeah, these crystals are save points. Uh, we'll see some blue ones later, which don't heal you and just save the game. And even later there is one, is another colour that does something different. But that'll be a while. It is done. Whoa, it really works! This must sell for a fortune! All you get for this crystal is prison time. Only the Ant Queen can authorise placing these rocks in public spaces. Even if you find one in the wild, they are too heavy to be carried by a single bug. Ah, there goes that idea. Still, the properties are amazing. Let's use them when we can, V. Yeah, sure. Let's get a move on. Best of luck. Best of luck. So yeah, um, the reason that cutscene is there is because in the previous version of the game, you couldn't hit this rock uh, yourself because you didn't have either the Beamerang or Kabu's horn flip trick yet. So you had to have the cutscene do it for you. So that's an interesting change that that's still there the same way, even though it's no longer required. Hmm. Anyway, uh, we, are we are going to put on the hard mode medal. Uh, that we should be okay, we'll see how we go. <laughs> Again, if I get too stuck on a boss or something, I'm gonna take it back off, just to keep the momentum of the recording going, but... Hopefully we can leave it on. So this is a seedling. <laughs> uh, we want to spy on our seedling here. Uh, boop. Boop. It's one of those stupid, annoying seedlings. They're all over the outskirts. We don't even drop good items. Let's just beat them up already. <laughs> Dropped a crunchy leaf, that's something. It's like the worst healing item in the game. I mean, it's, it's not the worst healing item in the game, it's... It's not a very good healing item, though. <laughs> You'll see what the worst one is later. This first bit's a bit easier if you already have the, beam the beamerang. Uh, you'll notice underneath the seedling it now says 5 health. It also says, uh, zero little shields, that's defense. Uh, we will be seeing a lot of monsters that have more than one- more than zero defense. It's just... not yet, basically. Uh, but because we have the hard mode medal on, we will be seeing lots and lots of stuff that has defense to it. So, that is something to keep in mind. We just grabbed some berries, those are just, like, money, basically. Uh... Six berries is not very many, so we're gonna hope 
hopefully get some more. You'll notice these seedlings are flying. Uh, v can hit them with the beamerang. Uh, Kabu cannot hit them uh, because they're flying. Can't reach them. Uh, so we do need to keep the beamerang available for that type of enemy. And there are some enemies that Kabu can hit that V can't. Same, same sort of deal. Uh, similar to Paper Mario, where you've got, you know, you have to use a jump on some enemies and hammer on some enemies, that kind of thing. You can see there are now two enemies, which is, means we're probably going to take a bit of damage in this fight, but that's not a big problem. Let's take these guys down. There we go. Kabu can only hit the front enemy if there's multiple. <sighs> I am not good at the timing. I'm going to need to practice that. Bam. There we go. Get some more berries. I'm not too worried about our health dropping. Uh, there is a healing spot up ahead, which we will be making use of as necessary. Uh... I'm gonna move V to the back like this. Uh, what the effect of that is enemies usually attack the person who's in the front. So if we have V in the back, since she has a bit of damage, she should be a bit safer. Uh, the other effect is the person in front does one point of extra damage over everyone else, which is also quite helpful. Basically all characters have base 2 damage. Uh, that can change with certain medals, but we won't be getting them for a while. Bada 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 bada. Much like Paper Mario, this game uses very small numbers for pretty much all the combat, which I think is nice. Do, 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 do. I like some small numbers. Uh, normally, um, I mean, in the previous version of the game, I couldn't cut all these branch, these bushes and stuff, uh, because Kabu hadn't learnt his skill yet. Excuse me, bug of old complexion. Is everything all right? Hey, Kabu, we're supposed to be adventuring. Snake Mouth Den, endless riches. Sorry, V, I cannot ignore an old bug in distress. First of all, name's Chuck, and I bet I'm younger than both of ya. But if you've gotta know... I'm almost done arranging my cozy rest space with travelers going to Snake Mouth Den. I just can't pull out this darn weed. You call this cozy? Chuck, Snake Mouth Den is more dangerous than rain on a wedding day. Shouldn't you be warning travelers? Look, will you help me or not? I'm not doing any pulling, at least not for free. Hmm, watch this, V. If I press B near small bushes or rocks... So that's when Kabu is supposed to learn the ability. Uh, you can't do it until this cutscene. At least you couldn't in 1.0.5. Whoa, nice! Something like this is no match for my horn. I'll be, you actually helped me. This made my week. You've got a reward ready, right? But V, helping others is already its own reward. And you didn't do anything. It's really, really not. Ho 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 ho, no worries. Helpful bugs deserve gratitude. I ain't got much, but please take this. You got ten berries. Berries, so many berries. Use them to buy something nice later, alright? Thank you, we surely will. We'll be going now. Make sure to warn others of the danger. If you are near someone that can be interacted with using the horn, an exclamation mark will show up over the party leader's head. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, if we walk up to... I think I already got all the bushes. Yeah, but if we walk up to a, like a bush, it'll have that little exclamation mark to let us know. There's one. See? So you switch, and you go whoop. You found a honey drop. Honey produced in the bee kingdom. Makes you happy, but also fat. Restores 5 TP. Do, 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 do. Much like Paper Mario, uh, we have separate health. Uh, the same as Thousand Year Door, but we have a shared uh, skill pool. Like, everyone uses the same TP. Um, the original Paper Mario, only Mario had health, but in Thousand Year Door Partners had health too. It's more like that game. <laughs> Ooh, uh, let me see. Take this down.
I am not getting the timing right for that block. <laughs> uh, it'll be okay. As I mentioned, there's a heal the stuff ahead, so we should be fine. Grab some berries. And you absolutely need to use the horn to get through here. Like those shrubs, it looks like you can squeeze through, but you can't. You have to actually cut them down. Basically, it's giving you a bit of tutorial on that. This is it. Snake Mouth Den. It doesn't look that scary, you know? According to rumours I have heard, it is the grave of a thousand explorers. Having ended countless journeys, many a song have been written about its dangers. F for real? Its interior must be absolutely riddled with monsters and death traps. You must be extremely cautious. Jeez, way to sell it to me, Carbu. But the higher the danger, the better the treasure. Hmm, it's true that the artifact is likely to be inside, but a simple wretch is worth such a risk to you? Stop trying to scare me off, let's get in there. I must make sure she stays safe. Do, do, do. Oh, logbook updated. Uh, what that means, uh, the logbook is this section here, and a couple of other sections, but usually it's discoveries. You can see it gives you a bunch of extra information about Snake Mouth Den. A cavern found at the edges of the Ant Kingdom, and the source of the river that cuts through Bulgaria's outskirts. Many explorers have tried their luck in trying to retrieve artifacts from the rumoured ancient tribe that inhabited this place, but few ever came back. Still, this has not stopped the Ant Queen from sending explorers to try and find the so fabled riches deep within. They say that those who are consumed by the mouth of the snake become its eternal slaves and still wander within to this day. My goodness. Uh, there's the bestiary as well, we can hear about seedlings if we want. The common seedling, characterised by the rectangular flower adorning its head, is one of the most common species in the world. They are tenacious and have a huge appetite, which they sate by devouring farmers' crops. They can use the flower on their heads to fly. Although it can be ripped out, it grows back within a week. But these notes. It's one of those stupid, annoying seedlings. They're all over the outskirts, but don't even drop good items. Let's just speed them up already. Carbu's notes. Hmm, seems this land has seedlings as well. Despite their adorable looks, they plague many fields and have no qualms devouring crops. Uh, that's the only kind of critter we've seen so far, so most of these sections are going to be empty. Crystal berry! You found a crystal berry. These are rare items sought by collectors around the world. Maybe someone will trade them for rare goodies somewhere. You can check how many you have in the pause menu. Yeah, um, crystal berries, if you've played the Paper Mario's, there's, um, star pieces. They're the same as that. There's a set of extremely good badges you can get by trading crystal berries for them. And there's a finite number of crystal berries in the game. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all we can talk about out here. Let's just hit the save. We're at about, uh, we're at about half an hour now. I think I probably want to stop here and continue next video. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thank you for watching the first little introduction part of Bug Fables, The Everlasting Sapling, version 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, yep, that's a new feature. You hold the Y button, you can actually reorder uh, stuff in here. You couldn't do that before. So that's cool. Uh, that's been added at 1.1. Anyway, uh, that's all for this video. Next time, we're going to actually go into Snake Mouth Den and continue with our adventure. <laughs> but that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye!